hey builders, BuildShip can connect to and use the data from a variety of different database sources. Everything from Superbase to MongoDB to Postgres to MySQL. But today we're going to talk about using Firebase's real-time database and authentication features to supercharge your BuildShip workflows. Before we begin, ensure you've connected your Firebase project to BuildShip in Google Cloud Console. If you haven't done this yet, check out our link in the video description for our quick setup guide. And with that out of the way, let's dive into the Firebase nodes available in BuildShip. Let's look at the Firebase auth nodes. If you're utilizing Firebase on your front end, using a Firebase authenticated trigger is essential for securing your APIs and workflows. That's because it utilizes Firebase authenticated user tokens to make sure that each request to your BuildShip endpoint comes from a user that's authenticated within your Firebase project. It also returns a basic level of user data, which can be useful. If you're sending and receiving data between your front end and your back end and you're utilizing Firebase, you simply need to send the Firebase authenticated user token to BuildShip when you're making the post request. Now let's take a look at the various Firebase utility nodes. The Create Firebase User node is used to programmatically create new Firebase authenticated users with an email, full name, and password. The get user data with auth token node fetches user data from Firebase based on the provided auth token. Used in conjunction with a Firebase authenticated trigger, you're able to receive the full breadth of user data stored in the user's document. The get user data with ID node is similar to the previous node, but uses the user ID instead of an authenticated token. The Mark Firebase User as Verified node allows you to programmatically verify your user's account within your BuildShip backend. The Check the User Exists node is a handy node to check if a Firebase user already exists within your Firebase project. This can be helpful, so you don't create duplicate users for the same account. Next, let's explore the Firestore database nodes. First up, the Collection Query node is a powerful node that allows you to query documents in Firestore with multiple filters. It's perfect for complex data retrieval tasks. The Create Document node allows you to create or update documents in a specified Firestore collection. The Get Document node fetches a specific document using its collection name and ID. This then allows you to use all the field values stored within the document further on in your workflow. The get field value node retrieves just a specific value from a Firestore document. This is useful if you don't want to return the entire document and you know exactly the field value you're after. The query count node gets a count of documents that match a specific query
the delete document node. As the name suggests, this node deletes a document from a Firestore collection. As always, if you're ever unsure, the information panel on each node has detailed information as well as links to documentation. It's also worth pointing out that the Create Collection, Create Document, and Update Document nodes now support document references. They just need to be in this format using ref. BuildChip also offers some advanced Firestore nodes for more complex operations. The Add Object to Array node adds an object to an already existing array in a Firestore document. This node is particularly useful if you're looking to add data to an existing array that already contains data. The field average and field sum nodes calculate the average or sum of a field in a collection based on a given filter. Let's walk through a practical example of using these nodes. We'll create a simple user registration and profile retrieval workflow. Let's start with the create Firebase user node to register a new user. Then, We'll use the create document node to store some additional information about that user. Next, we'll use the get data with ID node to retrieve the user's Firebase authenticated data. Finally, we'll use the get document node to fetch the user's profile information from Firestore. This combination allows for a complete user management system within your BuildShip workflow. As you can see, BuildShip's Firebase nodes offer a comprehensive suite of tools for integrating Firebase into your workflows, whether you're building a user authentication system, managing complex data, or creating real-time applications, these nodes provide the flexibility and power you need. Remember, while we focused on Firebase today, BuildShip's strength lies in its ability to connect to various data sources and services. This allows you to create truly powerful and flexible backend solutions, no matter where your data is stored. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos for more BuildShip tips and tricks. Let's BuildShip.